Hi guys, VC10 Aviation here, and today I'll be making a London Gatwick model airport update. So, we get started with the airport update. We've got this uh, Ryanair 800 This is heading out to Alicante. This is in the National Express Library. Then we've got a uh, British Airways 200 er This is arrived in from London Heathrow, and it'll be heading out to Orlando. Now, this aircraft is India Yankee, so the first uh, BA triple seven, I think, released by. NG models, uh, so this is a Heathrow based aeroplane. Uh, normally, the Gatwick based and the Heathrow based can be sort of told with the registrations, uh, but there has been quite a lot of Heathrow 777 presence at Gatwick. For example, like Mike Juliet, I noticed the other day was at uh, Gatwick, and I've, I noticed a couple of times, I think, especially during the summer, Mike Lima, the uh, special festival creativity frame was at Gatwick as well um, so um, there has been quite a lot of Heathrow um, triple seven presence there so yeah I think British Airways I don't know what I don't know what, why there's a lot of those um, I'm guessing it's either maintenance reasons or it could be expansion I don't know but um, it seems pretty interesting anyway uh, I'm pretty sure British Airways still have their twice daily flight to Orlando I could be wrong on that, um, but anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, so that is that. Okay, moving on, we've got this British Airways A319. Now, British Airways sadly no longer fly their 319s uh, to Gatwick. I remember these aeroplanes used to fly to Jersey and places like that. Um, especially, I remember the Retrojet was very... Um, a regular visitor to Gatwick. Um, I remember seeing it when it was stored at Gatwick because it was stored at the South Terminal before going to uh, Madrid, I think. Um, I do, I remember trip up there to see it before it went because everyone thought it was being withdrawn, but a few years later, um, returned to service. So, yeah, um, I'm guessing that British Airways were sorting out their fleet, so that's probably why. Because uh, I think they were meant to withdraw the 319 from 44 to 28, I think. So, yeah. But anyway, this AE 319 has arrived from Glasgow. And we'll be heading back out there. Um, so, yeah. So, moving on now. We've got an EasyJet A320. This is going to Tenerife. This is a custom. I have hand-painted this one. Not the best, I must admit. It is a little bit messy and a bit rough. But once again, um, I did have a go um, at making an EasyJet. Sadly, um, once again, these aircraft are no, well, there's not a lot of them in 400. Moving on now, we've got this Corendon 778. Uh, this is heading out to Danaman today. I don't know if Corendon still fly this route. I think there's another route, is it Heraklion? They fly to Greece, but I think that's Corendon Airlines Europe, so... I think that's the Maltese subsidiary, I think, if I pronounce that right. But, yeah, so that's heading to Dalaman. Then we've got this Norwegian um, 737 This is heading out to Oslo today. Actually, is it heading to Oslo? Oslo or Stockholm? I think we'll go with Stockholm, because uh, this is Norwegian Air Sweden, uh, hence the uh, Swedish aircraft register there so that concludes the airport update part one I'll see you in part two hi guys welcome back to part two so here we've got the air charter Scotland uh, ERJ 135 so this library I was originally going to make the aero actually I think I was originally going to make this into Logan Air but I couldn't really figure out how to make it into Logan Air and then I ended up making it into like aero um so this actual library does exist. Um, I think the aircraft registration, um, I will put it in the video, but this is now operated by Air Charter Scotland. So this will be going out to Farnborough. Um, and it, um, I think it arrived in from there. Um, but yeah, so this is heading to and from Farnborough. So moving on now, we've got this uh, Thomas Cook. I use this as a Condor aircraft. So this aircraft's now with Condor. Uh, so this is Delta Gulf. I think she's now flying with Condor. I can't mind the registration, but this aircraft um, is on a football charter today. 
operated by uh, Condor. So this is from Cologne and it'll be heading back out there. Uh, so this is a couple of football charters I have seen on flight radar. I think there was a Condor A321. It was green stripes. It flew from Cologne to London Gatwick. I can't mind who was flying, what football team was on board, but I know for a fact, I think they played uh, Chelsea um, up in London. So I think, I can't mind what club it was, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, that'll be heading to them from there. Um, and then, yeah, we've got another uh, football charter as well. We've got this British Airways A320. This is an older A320, so not the usual IAE-powered one. Uh, but this is a new A3. This is an older A320. Um, so this aircraft is heading up to Newcastle today. Uh, so this is doing a charter for Brighton and Hove Albion uh, when they played Newcastle. Um, that was quite an interesting match. Um, but yeah, I always find with Newcastle and Brighton, they have and the same with Bournemouth, they have the same sort of calibre. So when they play each other, it's sort of a little bit difficult um, to sort of find the pace of the match, to be honest. But um, so yeah, so that will be doing a charter uh, for Brighton and Hove Albion. Uh, so this aircraft itself has got uh, CFM engines. Uh, they had IAE. I think 2,500 engines on the modern day British Airways A320 fleets, but I've seen this model, I thought it was quite nice. So this is the Denmark tail, and this is the Aviation 400. Uh,